Pink Planet. We're in the Hotel Pearl Palace in Jaipur and it's bloody lovely. It's a really nice room. Jaipur in Rajasthan and it is the pink city and it was painted pink in the 1800s by the king of Jaipur to welcome the Prince of Wales Prince Albert and it took four years to paint all the gates all the city to give him a surprise Why pink, I hear you ask? Because pink is the colour of welcome. And there are seven gates around the city that all look the same and they're big because the king used to travel around on his elephants and so he needed to get him and his elephant through the gate. Always two sides to every Indian city. Voting was in full flow. Again. I want it. Mm. India, I want. <laughs> After casting your vote, your finger is marked. We're at Janta Manta, which is in Jaipur, an astrological park that was built in 1734. Behind us is the world's largest sundial. So what have we learned so far? We've learned that there are some really intelligent people and even uh, by us reading the instructions of how things are done, we still don't really understand. What we've learned is we're not as intelligent we're not as, smart people. <laughs> as others. And we're having fun running around going, I wonder what this is. Guess what this might be. <laughs> This is Royal Gator and it's a memorial crematorium for the royal family uh, and all the monuments have been made by hand including the last one that was done only five years ago when the last Maharaja died. Just over the wall an older boy hit a younger boy and all hell broke loose. It went on for ages and ages.
We're just talking about uh, our health. Our health has been quite good in the first part of this trip, but we seem to have uh, got a bit more sick. So even though we're living the dream at some point, I've lost my voice today. I was sick in Calcutta. And that dragged on to Darjeeling. And then I puked and pooed my way through Bhutan. And then we got to Varanasi and I was sick again. And then a few days later in Agra. <laughs> yeah, the in runs. Agra, again. And now we got to Jaipur, I had the runs for a day. And <laughs> this morning I got up and my voice is gone. The Amber Fort in Jaipur. And it's quite amazing, there's a palace behind us and the fort walls go on for miles. It is like the Great Wall of China, India style. site and it's beautiful there's a labyrinth of rooms and the most famous room is the mirrored hallway which the king built for his beloved wife so that she could sleep under the stars lunch and we're actually testing something different that is Rajasthani Gatta. Not quite sure what it is, but it's like chickpeas. It's a bit like falafel uh, is the is ball that's made up. Um, the sauce itself, we asked for it not too spicy. It's pretty spicy. And the rice is cumin rice. And then we ordered a bati, which is like a dried bread but it's a Rajasthani special. It's quite wheaty, so it looks like a nice brown crispy roll on the outside, but it's kind of a bit stodgier than that. It's good, but it is quite spicy. Look at this amazing step well. Not sure I'd want to drink though. This is the beautiful Jar Mahal or Water Palace and was made by the King of Amber in the middle of the Mansaga Lake. It represents the use of Mughal and Rajput architecture style. It's free to view and photograph, but as of 2015, it's privately owned and you're not allowed in. This amazing structure is Hawa Mahal. It was built in 1799 by Majaraja Sawawi Singh as part of the city palace. It was an extension of the Zena chamber. Its purpose was to allow royal ladies to observe everyday life in the street below without being seen. It is a five story high redstone structure complete with over 950 windows. The breeze, or Hawa in Hindi, circulates through these windows, giving the palace its name. <laughs> 